All right, so today, uh, Thursday's workout is gonna be uh, upper body pressing horizontal. Uh, so the way we're gonna structure this, actually we're gonna have two different workouts at the beginning because the workout basically has two units. The first unit is the core strength work and then we'll switch to the isolation structural work. Uh, for the, the functional type of work, we'll have two different uh, settings. I'll be demonstrating more a strength-based workout uh, whereas Doc and Chris will be demonstrated the hypertrophy workout. We're, both are, are fairly similar, but they use different techniques. Uh, Doc and Chris will start, will be using the reverse band setup. I like to use reverse band setup when doing higher reps on a bench press because it really decreases shoulder strain. Because at the bottom, the bands help you a lot. So they take away a lot of stress when the shoulder is in a weak mechanical position. And it also allows you to absorb the eccentric stress. So the bands allow you to do a high volume of work without exceeding your capacity to recover and also without traumatizing the muscles and structures excessively. So they'll be doing, uh, starting with regular bench press with the reverse band. They'll work up gradually with what I call feeler sets just to find out what's the proper weight for them for six to eight reps. Once they reach that weight, they can go up and down a bit, but they'll stick to this fairly narrow range and they'll do four sets of six to eight reps. That's gonna be their first exercise. Then the second exercise will be the same setting, reverse bands, slightly less weight, and it's gonna be wide grip bench press. Wide grip bench press is a great chest exercise, especially for the lower chest, if lower to the clavicle, but if you use regular free weights, it's a tremendous stress on the shoulder joint because it puts you in a really, really weak mechanical position. But the bands allow you to do the wide grip bench press very safely and give you a tremendous peak contraction at the top. So they also do four sets of six to eight reps with the wide grip reverse band. And then they'll switch to a close grip, which is just slightly inside shoulder width, uh, close grip bench press also with the reverse band setup. But instead of doing it with the elbows closed, they'll keep the elbows spread out to increase pectoral activation. Uh, again, uh, a position that's not super safe with a free weight because of the strain at the bottom, but the reverse bend allow you to do that exercise safely. So these are gonna be their main strength movements. Between each set, we'll do active rest work uh, as for, uh, for the muscles that were, that were worked yesterday to facilitate recovery. So we'll have a choice of any posterior chain exercise, the leg curl, high neck curl, face pull with the rope, or traps movement with uh, the standing cow machine, or rear delts with dumbbells. Doesn't really matter, just get some active rest uh, for the muscle we worked hard yesterday. So it's gonna be basically uh, like 12 sets here, various grip. In the meantime, I'm gonna be doing regular bench press for strength. My first exercise will be the regular bench press itself. I'm gonna be doing sets of one to five reps depending on the scheme I think works best for the day normally. It takes me about three or four work sets to know exactly what scheme will work best for the day. If it's like just straight sets of five, sets of three, uh, like three, two, one way, whatever. So I'll, uh, I'll do the bench press first. Then I'm gonna switch to bench press with one pair of chain on each side. I'm gonna work my way up here. And my third exercise will be the bench press with two pair of chains, which is different kind of force curve. So these will be my three main strength movement. So after that, we'll do the isolation work. Good. Good. 
building size, I actually prefer to use reverse bends than the regular bench press. You feel it much better in the chest.